All right, guys. Junior with Keystone RV Center. You already know that because that's what the uh, YouTube page says is Keystone RV Center. So today we're going to be doing one of the cooking videos you all were asking for. We suggested that, hey, we could do something like this. You guys like the idea. You comment it. Please comment so we know what videos to do because this channel is all about you guys. Whatever you want, we're going to try to build the channel around that, what's going to help you all out the best. So today's meal is a meal called Loco Moco. So the short story to this, uh, before we show you how to do it, um, I don't like doing a whole lot of cooking while on, and a whole lot of dishes when I'm camping. So I try to combine meals. So in this one, we're doing the burgers, okay, that we do when the night that we get there. Um, if you guys didn't watch the AC video, we get in lunchtime, we go have buffet for lunch. Why? Because we want the AC to be working when the doors are closed. That way it's working at its maximum capacity. Then we do burgers that night. It's quick, it's easy, it's a little bit of cleanup. The grill's got to get seasoned in for that weekend. So, hey, might as well get it started off with burgers right away. So we do the burgers, save some extra, and you'll see what to do with the rest. It's an incredible meal. If you've never had it, definitely give this one a try. It's definitely worth a uh, taste test. All right, guys, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button and uh, comment down below so we can interact with you guys. Have a great one. Barb, we're trying to shoot a video here. All right, so the first part of this, you're gonna cook some burgers. That's right, you're gonna cook the burgers for the night before, and we're gonna pull some off early. Why are we gonna pull them off early? Simple, I need to reheat them tomorrow for breakfast, so I want them a little bit undercooked. That way when I cook them tomorrow for breakfast, I can warm them up, cook the middles the rest of the way, and they'll be good to go. So that's step one. Hey guys, Junior with Keystone RV Center. So today, we're gonna to be making that breakfast. Now, the way this video started was me grilling some burgers, okay? So part of this beauty is how little work you're gonna to have to do. So we got our burgers that were cooked last night. Keep in mind, we did them a little more, little uh, red, more rare than what I normally do because we're about to throw them in the pan. So first thing, we're gonna get the front turned on here. Get everything fired up. Once we got a little heat in that pan, we are going to toss these burgers in there. We're gonna get those warmed back up. We wanna get them in first. So, get this in the trash. So, we got some of the hamburger meat in this pan because we're gonna do the rest of this stuff. Now, traditionally, this is how we do our rice. And we have a little bit larger crew with us um, this weekend than what we traditionally do. But we normally make our rice ahead of time, bag it up, freeze it, take them out in serving size. Um, that way we've got those ready to go. So let's get this pan nice and warm. And then uh, I'll walk you through the steps of how we put this all together. Ow. I got the clicker. I don't have to keep walking. I'm going to forget that I own this thing. All right, guys, pan's nice and warm. A little butter in there. Why? Because butter is always better. You cook it how you want. This is the way I do it. This dish is called Loco Moco. So, get a nice little brown to that. All right. Burger straight in. Got one that broke up on the grill. That's fine. That's going to be for the kid anyway. Boom, there we go. We're going to keep this plate handy because we're going to pull these burgers off here in a second. We're just warming them up right now, trying to get some of that burger meat into this pan, season that up a little bit. Then we're going to do our gravy on top of that. So the way this dish will look when you're finished, rice on the bottom, burgers on top. Then we got some eggs going on top of those and then brown gravy over everything, okay? That being said, that's the way I like it. Some people put the eggs on top of the gravy, okay? I don't care whether you use a glass jar. We're gonna be using the little packs here, personal preference. I like these um, still when we're traveling up and down the road because this can fall out and crack, this can't. So we're gonna get these warmed up, get our water poured out for our gravy mix and uh, have everything all ready to rock and roll. All right, so the burgers are just about done. I'm gonna get these guys off of here.
got them warmed up. Remember, we didn't have to cook them, we're just reheating them. Get this chunk out of here. That'll be the boys, it's already broken up. He's three, so he doesn't need as big as the rest of us. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, a little water into the pan, we're gonna knock that temperature down a little bit. Then we're gonna put this packet mix in here. Now, calls for a cup. Now, one of the things that I've done whenever I had smaller campers, wasn't able to bring as much stuff with uh, before I got a park model, was if you take an old, or if you take one of your normal drinking glasses, okay, and you put a mark on it for where one cup is at, you'll know exactly where it is. Now this. This gravy mix, we're going to mix in here with that hamburger meat. So we got that all seasoned together. It's a mushroom gravy mix, brown gravy. But when we get that hamburger grease in here, that helps with that. So we're going to get this all stirred up. Probably going to make two of these packets today. The crew that I'm. So we got our second thing of gravy off. Next thing to go in is going to be the eggs. We're going to get a little butter in there on top of the gravy. Yeah, you can cook it however you want. I'm not teaching you how to cook eggs. I'm not teaching you how to cook butter. Or, yeah, cook butter. Cook eggs. I'm not teaching you how to cook uh, burgers. You all got your method for that. So roll with however you do that. But for this, this is the way I do it. Like my butter. Now people, some people do like the runny eggs for this. Some do not. It is a personal choice. Alrighty guys, well I'm gonna start plating all this stuff up. I got these eggs just about ready to come off. Rice has obviously been done. Now if you're doing the frozen bags like I talked about, making the serving sizes, and you're not trying to feed a crew like I am today, then you can do everything in one pan. You got one pan, one spatula for cleanup. You're good to go. This is what you're looking at for a finished result. Got a little rice, a little brown gravy, a uh, little burger. Pour it in any order you want. I like the, the gravy over top of the egg, but traditionally the egg does not have it on it. I think it tastes better though. You tell me what you think in the comments down below. Let us know if you've tried this recipe or you want to see us do more recipes. Again, guys, Junior Keystone RV, thanks for watching. Make sure you click like and subscribe. <laughs> Nobody eats for free in the camper. Why? You got to scrub the dishes if you eat here. Scrub it. Scrub it good. Oh, it's all clean now. You excited? Yeah. All right, ready to do the next one? Yeah. All right.